as you continue to breathe, relax. Begin consciously relaxing your physical body. Starting at your feet and working your way up. Imagining that each part of your body is getting all warm, gloomy, melting like a Salvador Dali. Relaxing your toes, your feet, heels, your ankles. Relaxing your calves and your shins, your knees. Letting all the tension melt out of your thighs, your hips, your pelvis. Relaxing your spine, your lower back, your mid back, your upper back, and your shoulder blades. And then letting any tension out of your lower belly, your stomach. Relaxing each rib, your chest. Feeling your heart area relax and open. Focusing on your hands, your fingers, your knuckles. Relaxing your wrists, your forearms, your elbows. Releasing any tension from your biceps, your triceps, your shoulders. Relaxing your neck, the muscles around your throat. Letting all the tension out of your jaw, your face. Relaxing your cheeks, the muscles around your eyes and ears. Releasing any tension from your forehead, your scalp rest of your head. Letting your entire body relax as much as possible. Relaxing your mind as well. And as you continue to relax begin to imagine a bright white light shining all around you. Shining in and through your body your mind, your soul. Shining with pure, divine love and light. That all you can sense and all you can experience is nothing but its pure, powerful light. Also in this light is a beautiful and profound silence. No sensation, there's no thought, there's no connection to the physical world or your physical body. 
Even sound of your breathing, your heart being seen, so distant. As you continue to drift into this beautiful light, begin to hear faint and distant sounds of a clock ticking. Sound is distant to earth, so coming from a far away. Begins to grow louder, more present, prevalent. As the sound grows louder, the group begins to take shape around it. Pure white walls, ceiling, and floor. Nothing but a simple white chair. Plain white table and a clock on the wall high above. There are no lights in this room, yet all the walls and ceilings seem to be glowing and same with white light spilling the walls ago. The only sound you can hear is the sound of the clock. Steps grow louder and louder. Here, my lord contains these feet approaching closer to the room, and finally stopping just outside. Sense of expectation and anticipation begins to build more and more, knowing that someone's about to walk in, but you know how to do it. Or why. As you wait in excitement, you begin to become more 
where the sound is like the clock slowing down and it's ticking. Seconds begin to feel like they're stretching into minutes. And then out. As the anticipation builds, your excitement grows. appears ageless. So though we could be very young or very old, it's impossible to distinguish. Go in his eyes. It's deep, powerful, and ancient wisdom. Compassion comes with having seen all that there is to see, and a patience comes from knowing all things will come in time. Finally, 
the man stops walking and stands directly in front of you, gazing deeply into your eyes. Welcome, he says, to the halls of time. Know why you've come. For all time is endless here, you still prefer not to waste it. After it then, what is your purpose in this visit? What would you like to accomplish? show you anything you'd like to see. With that, he pauses to listen. To explain and make any request that you'd like to make. Find any clarity that you'd like out of your life. Be it past, present, or future. Says, well, then, let's get to it in a time like the present. What they say, Come, stand next to me, place your hand on my shoulder, and I will show you what you want to see. That you know, and stand next to the man seems to grow even larger. Reaching out, place a hand on his broad shoulder. Take a deep breath now, he says. This may be a little unnerving. And as you breathe deeply into your nose and out through your mouth, suddenly the white room shifts and blurs around you. You find yourself in a moment in your past. As all things are connected, he says, all things happen in the past, in the present, and in the future. So we will be looking at all three aspects of this issue. It doesn't make sense at first, don't worry. It will all become clear time as he chuckles softly. Take a moment now to explore the vision that you're seeing of your past, what it is that you're feeling. What this time, what this memory represents to you. Well then, I hope you've seen what you need to see here. It's time we're moving along. With that, the room blurs around you again. Off we go now to a bit of your future, you hear his voice say. And as the blurring of the room settles around you, find yourself in a moment. Brief glimpse of your life to come. How does it feel? What are your surroundings? 
How are you different from the you that you are now? Now you know the drill, he says, and I'll spare you the tickets. Free will and choice, this shows an only an option, blah, blah, blah. Have you seen what you came to see? Good. Now, back to the present we go. And then that will close around you once more. And you find yourself in a moment of your present. A moment that has been, will be, or is being affected by the past that you've seen, the future imagine. What is this moment and how does it relate? How are those energies affected? Now, my friend, your time here would appear to be up. With that, your blurs around you once more, you find yourself back in the plain white room, the plain white chair and table. So the time we have for today, the man says, is to begin making his way back out of the room. Come back, whatever you need, but please don't do so without purpose. No one has time for that. With that, he walks out of the room, leaving you once again alone in the silence between your heartbeats. Boy realized quite that it was missing. You hear the sound of the clock ticking once more. It's time to start slowly coming back, gently returning your awareness to your physical body and once again becoming fully present in this time and this reality. Get some movement back in your physical body, your hands, your arms, your legs, your spine, your shoulders, your neck, and your face. And when you're ready, slowly and gently opening your eyes, you're remembering every moment of your experience.